Ad Energy has been operated for many years now, our part of the business since 2004. The company specialises in niche consultancy services to oil and gas and energy businesses. Our part of the business actually start to expand into other industries as well now. Uh, we're famous for things like the Macondo well kill, Montara well kill, globally setting up performance standards for Shell, setting up global maintenance strategies for international oil companies. So these are the kinds of things that, that we've built our business on. I think with the, the downturn, the focus for us was on delivering value for clients. So everything we do has a return on investment and um, they can be quick wins through to long-term improvements for the client. Uh, quite often, it's a mixture of both. and. Um, by demonstrating that, we've we've been given more and more work. Uh, we've seen contract wins from major oil companies, from power generation companies, from drilling companies. Uh, we've even had scopes of work in the mining industry as well. Um, so really, it's it's multifaceted, and um, we have some major oil and gas clients that, that do make up a large share of our work. But uh, that seems to be uh, proliferating further and further at the moment. I think it's a fantastic achievement for the team. Um, it's years and years of hard work. So um, you get this from four to five years worth of planning, preparation, execution that lead to uh, your international development. Because there's so many factors to, to achieving that and the challenges and hurdles that you face in rolling out in other countries and and getting your message out to, to other parts of the world. So it's been really a, a long-term process that's resulted in this win. So it's something the team can be very proud of. Definitely, I think we've seen um, a focus on the optimization and we're looking specifically at maintenance costs there, at, at materials costs how you get the best bang for your buck. So for every piece of equipment, you have a cost center and what you apply to that piece of equipment has an equilibrium and what you get back from it in availability and, and the cost of running it and, and replacement as well. So we look at all those factors and that's really where that value proposition comes in. Delivery side of things sets us apart um, and that reputational piece. I think also the use of a blend of analysts, engineers uh, and software solutions. So we're, we're fast tracking solutions quite often and uh, it, it keeps us competitive in a global market as well where there's low cost centers in the world as well. So we, we have to be competitive with that as well as, as providing excellence. We also have to be cost competitive as well. I think for us it's about uh, continuing to, to reinforce our message to the industry to make sure people know who we are, what we can do, um, to deliver a good service to our clients, uh, continue to grow into new markets, new industries as well, that's something that we're, we're focusing on as well. So it's, it's again a part of a, a strategy that covers many aspects.